All right, so at sunrise, so I'm just going to use a little bit of time warp and watch the sun and wait until it's around, you know, what I would consider midday. I don't recall if I showed this transition in the previous video or not, but I think it looks really cool. So um, there's no reason not to record it. So I feel like that's about midday. You know, if, if these are all in the cardinal directions, that's true. If not, I'm wrong. Um, but now we're midday, ready for a midday launch. Huh, kind of a weird band of cloud there. That's all right, that shouldn't mess with my observations. All right, and launch. So the sun, you know, I don't expect it to do any crazy things during this launch because it's not right at the edge of the horizon. And I probably won't get the best edge effect comparison um, because we're midday, but I think my, my uh, intuition or um, my, my guess from experience was that you mostly get the edge of the world effects with OpenGL near the ground and at near sunrise. But these volumetric clouds might actually be perfectly balanced to kind of hide some of that. Uh, it's hard to say where they kind of pop up near the area where you, you get that issue. So the sun still looks fine, no weird issues. I can see the moon still. So I do, I personally like this hazy look, so that's how I've set, um, you know, it kind of gets hazy as I head up. And maybe that might be what's leading to everything looking weird around between 80 kilometers and 130 kilometers. I, I don't know, oh, and burnout. There we go, I added some little uh, boosters to drop off. I don't remember if I mentioned or had that in the previous video, I think I did. I, I had them, but I didn't mention it. So we're heading up, looks nice. But yeah, I like, you know, because you're looking through more atmosphere as you look further away, so it should be harder to see as you look away. Like even now, I, I can see the other side of Florida um, through the light here. It doesn't look crazy hazy. Um, so I don't recall if the other, if I hadn't noticed this before, but you can see the city texture kind of flickering like that. And you know, it doesn't bother me too much, but it's still worth noting. I think it weirds me out a bit when it's further away. So I don't remember seeing it doing that at dawn. So that might be uh, somewhat related to the fact that we're midday here. I don't know. Um, we're starting to pop up above most of the atmosphere. I just threw these kind of verniers on the side because this engine does not um, uh, just does not gimbal very well at all. So it's losing control. Don't remember. Oh, I do good. I do have far. Well, that's good. So if I've got MechJev installed, I'll pretty much always have FAR, and I pretty much always have MechJev, so I pretty much always have FAR. So the edge is starting to look a bit weird, you can see that, but so is everything, you know, it kind of makes this weird transition. That, that just might need altitudes or blend numbers different or something, but I see every city is screaming at me as I approach 130 kilometers. And there we go. Um, and I think, oh no, I don't see the city textures from space here. I thought maybe I did, um, in blacks, I have to compare that. See, that's it, there's so much detail going on in these amazing visual. Like uh, that's why you know early when you use them or see pictures, they just overwhelm you with how much better than the stock game they look. But if you're like me and you start to get analytic about it, you start to see more and more inconsistencies or glitches as you test or use them, uh, which is which is you know annoying in some ways, but. I, I like that. I see that as an advantage because then I can kind of try to identify what's causing them and improve them for all. Uh, let's see. So that after I've noticed and fixed it, I don't have to deal with seeing it that way. All right. So let's just do a little bit of time warp. Uh, yeah. So the cities I'm not seeing from space here. Kind of the same thing as the previous video where the clouds look a bit pixely, but I think it's just because it's a lower... A lower resolution, or it's being repeated less. It's you know being stretched over a large, larger surface area rather than being tiled more frequently. Uh, but I think that's it. So that's it for the basic testing, because you know Saab is the one. Um, the, the Saab version is the one I want to you know, show off the most and figure out the most because it's one that just everybody else can access. So if I can figure out you know what's causing the disadvantages in his uh, variant, maybe specifically with the clouds. Uh, then all the better. I can make a legit pull request against his uh, against his GitHub repository. So I'll post in the links. You know how to um, how to acquire what I currently have here. Um, you won't get the same memory profile. I've explained that in previous videos. I am currently running with just stock fuels, no realism overhaul, not even RO mini, just super basics, just for testing. Uh, but the sub one definitely uses a bit less memory. Um, I'm currently running an OpenGL. I forgot if I mentioned that at the beginning of this video. So OpenGL, um, because that'll, you know, then you should see similar things in Linux. 
um, and I find that gives the best memory savings. DirectX 11, I find just used a tiny bit more memory, but I might do these tests, um, you know, uh, personal or otherwise, with uh, DirectX as well, just to see how it compares. But as you can see, it looked all pretty good in OpenGL, uh, and then you can enjoy this on Linux or Windows or whatever you're using. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I hope to do a few more of these videos so people can just peep in and see what these RVE versions look like uh, without having to go through the trouble of installing them themselves. If they think they look nice, then they can just follow whatever instru instructions I link to or I post uh, to acquire the same appearance. Um, because ever then, you know, everybody can have as good of looking KSP as they want, rather than having to spend hours trying to get it to look that way themselves or find the, and figure out the instructions for installing. Uh, thanks for watching again. Goodbye.